Hello. We're going to cover uh, the uh, basics, the different steps that you need to do in order to finish the uh, the if extra credit homework in Excel. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to build a spreadsheet that looks similar to this. So we need to have months in one column, January through December. We need to have income in another column matching up with the months and then uh, down at the bottom here we need a total so for the total I'm going to use the auto sum okay and then that'll give me my total here alright that's total income for the year now we're going to use um, the an if statement to answer the question will I owe taxes okay and so just to, to keep it simple what we're going to do is we are going to set up a limit and this may not necessarily actually I can you know definitely tell you that this is not necessarily the limit that the IRS uh, has but we're going to go ahead and just set $12,000 as the limit. So anything under $12,000 I'm not going to pay taxes. Anything above or equal to $12,000 I will pay taxes. Uh, and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that statement. So, so is income under Twelve thousand. Well, let's go ahead and put the dollar sign in here. Twelve thousand dollars? Question mark. Okay. And then, uh, so we're going to build an equation here, and it's going to. So we're going to start out with an equal sign. So the formulas or function in, in, in Excel need to start out with an equal sign. Uh, this equation is going to start out with if, so this is going to be an if then. So if the statement is true, then then it'll give a certain value. So the statement, the first thing that we need to, to do is we need to do the logical test here. Okay, so the logical test is going to be uh, is this uh, this so this is my real income here so is this uh, less than the limit 12,000 okay less than less than gotta hit the shift there we go less than 12,000 so that's the logic so if it is, so I, I put a comma, and so if it's true, the next part is if it's true, then I want to say uh, yes. Okay, so if it's under, then uh, the next section of the equation is going to be what if it's false? What if it's equal to or greater than 12,000? then I will put so I put another comma and then I'm starting on my on the no, uh, no part so if it's not true and I'm gonna go no it's not uh, less than okay and then we're gonna go ahead and close it out okay which that is correct right so the 14 4 is actually greater than it's not under 12,000 uh, so if I actually got rid of some income here, see I got rid of some income right there, uh, then it would change. So you see the update there. So now it's yes. I put it back, put the income back, and then it's going to be no. Okay, so uh, then what we want to do here is put another if-then statement. And this one it's going to be is income... Twelve thousand or over. OK. 
okay and then we're going to go to the uh, our and create another if equation here and it's going to be if uh, this is so that my income greater than or equal to okay so the greater than sign and the equal to sign so greater than or equal to that's how we put that and then uh, then the limit if it is greater than or equal to I want to put uh, so we so we put in uh, quotation marks because it's uh, a string or it's a these are um, letter values not numbers if it was a number then I would that I wanted it to give as a true if it was true or, or false I would want to give it a number uh, then I wouldn't need to put in the quotation marks but this is a uh, an actual word that I'm putting and so um, so I'm gonna put it into quotation marks okay so that is if it is greater than or equal to I'm gonna put yes if it's false if it's um, less than then I'm gonna put no okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and close it out hit enter and there we go so so let's see if it works let's go ahead and get rid of some income here let's go ahead and make this zero on August uh, I'm not quite under 12,000 let's go ahead and make this one zero as well and that should uh, do it for us here well that's and that means it's equal to so it's still equal to then we're gonna get rid of one more month and then we should see a flip here on our if statements there we go it flipped it did it correctly so that's what I'm going to be checking on your homework is if you have those statements in there correctly and if they're going to uh, behave properly if the income changes and so go ahead and uh, save this once you're done with it and then submit it to the link on uh, blackboard right there so that's where you're going to want to submit it. I'm going to go ahead and put this video out there so you can watch it. Thanks.